What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. So I'm seeing a lot of chatter saying that Javante Tank Davis should rematch Ryan Garcia at a catch weight of 145 pounds. No, he should not. No, he should not, y'all. Um, Why is that? Ryan Garcia is already much bigger than Tank Davis. Ryan probably walk around at like 165. Seriously. He looked humongous versus Devin Haney. Him and Devin Haney both are, are big dudes that weigh 160, upward, almost 170 pounds, both of them, right? Gervonta Tank Davis at his best ain't getting, he getting at his best 145 pounds. He's a little small guy. He's not a big dude, right? When they took the fight at 135, like, Ryan shouldn't have been, he should take air because everybody say Tank drained him. He gave him the rehydration clause. The fact, of, the fact of the matter is, Ryan Garcia shouldn't have been fighting at 135 if he couldn't make the weight. Ryan Garcia shouldn't have been fighting at 135 if he couldn't make the weight, right? He was fighting at 135 when he fought Tank. You feel me? And in that fight with Ryan, <clears throat> excuse me, in that fight with Ryan and Tank, there was a skill difference. No matter what Ryan's weight was, there was a skill difference. Because a lot of y'all trying to say that Tank only beat Ryan because of, you know, the weight, him being drained, or so on and so forth. It was important for Tank to put that rehydration clause in there. Because Ryan Garcia was going to be as big as he was the other day when he fought uh, Devin Haney. And against a small guy like Tank, that ain't fair. Devin Haney is a big dude himself. So I wasn't tripping on the weight thing with Devin because Devin is a big guy. Tank is a small guy. I don't think y'all know how small Tank. Tank about 5'5". Five, 5'4", five. Five, 5'5". Five, five. Like, again, at his best, 140-something pounds. He don't need to be fighting a dude that's going to get up to about 170 pounds. Like, you know what I mean? I don't, that, to me, no. That wouldn't be wise. It wouldn't be smart. For real, it wouldn't. And for y'all that's saying, oh, he drained, he drained. If he can't make, if he, he shouldn't have been fighting at 135. If, like, oh, my God, he, the rehydration clause is going to affect him that bad. Shouldn't have been fighting in that weight class, you know? And, again, it was a skill difference, no matter what Ryan's weight was in that fight. Ryan threw those same hooks that he threw against Devin Haney. He threw those same hooks at Tank Davis. Devin Haney couldn't neutralize those hooks the way uh, Tank Davis could. He couldn't. The, the, first, the first knockdown that Ryan Garcia suffered – it came after Tank ducked under the hook, countered. What was that, with a right hand? Countered the hell out of him. So Tank knew how to neutralize those hooks. He was going to get out of the way. He was going to get out of the way of it. And I remember Tank saying it was coming so slow, he could time it perfectly. You know what I mean? So to me, there's a skill difference, y'all. Like, And I'm going to make another video about this because Ryan, he got that win and and. and, and dominating fashion but it wasn't because of skill like ryan didn't look no more skilled than he usually is he didn't do nothing differently than he'd usually do to me at all it was just that this fight devin haney couldn't hurt ryan ryan had the confidence to say i don't give a fuck what devin haney's throwing at me i'm gonna get my shots off and he was unloading his hands and he was able to crack devin because he's strong he has a he has a he packs a more powerful punch much more powerful punch than Devin Haney does. And Devin couldn't neutralize it, couldn't stay out of the way of it. And his chin couldn't withstand the damage from those hits. But Ryan didn't look like a world-class, like an all-ultra machine against like a world-class, dominating world-class boxer. No. He looked like a powerful fighter that packs a powerful punch that, you know, that could devastate you if you don't get out of the way of it. But he didn't look extremely skillful. Tank is not just a power puncher. He is a boxer. He can do a lot of great things. He can parry shots. He can um, counter extremely well. He's not a Tank is not a volume puncher for a guy that's a knockout artist. A lot of knockout artists are volume punchers. He's not because he's patient. He has great ring generalship. Tank, bro, like I promise y'all, Tank knows how to fight. He can fight in spots. He knows how to land a shot to get you hurt in extreme and in, in, in devastating fashion. And so, like, to me, Ryan don't know how to do that. He just unloads his hands and waits for you to submit to his will 
And that's what happened with Devin Haney. But yeah, like, for y'all talking about, oh, Tank needs to fight him at 145, bro. No, knock it off. Knock it off. Because, again, Tank is a small-ass dude. It's really small. Ryan, bro, should really be fighting at welterweight. Let's be honest. There's a reason why Oscar De La Hoya... First of all, the last three fights he didn't have. Ryan Garcia didn't have a catch weight in the last three fights, bro. What do that tell you? What does that tell you? He does not belong in the weight class he's fighting in. So to have, like, to say, oh, Tank, tell Tank to move up to 140. Even if he moves up to 140, he's not fighting a 140-pound fighter at all. Which is why Oscar De La Hoya specifically said, going forward, if he fight at 140, we got to make it a catch weight. 145, something like that. He, the boy, because he know he can't make 140 pounds. Ryan should be at 147. And I promise y'all, Tank ain't fighting at 147 probably to some years from now. Ryan is so big, bro. I wouldn't be shocked if Ryan was fighting at 168 by the time he finished his career. He definitely going to be fighting at 160 at some point, for sure. I wouldn't be surprised if he fight at 168 before he done. I, pro I, I promise you I would not be shocked. I would not be shocked. Um, you, We all know uh, Tank Davis ain't nowhere near. He ain't fighting at no damn 160, so he not doing it. The highest Tank Davis probably could go or would go is 154, and that's, that is pushing it. To extreme measure. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man. Like, no. It's, if he go to 140, he's not going to be fighting a 140-pound guy. He's going to be fighting a guy that's going to be coming in at, that's going to make weight at 145. And a dude that's going to be like one almost 170 on fight night. You know? And y'all the same people. A lot of y'all fans is calling for this fight and saying, well, he need to not put a rehydration clause in there for Ryan Garcia. Fight him at 140. Tank need to do that to be the real deal. Y'all the same people who call Errol Spence a weight bully for beating up on Mikey Garcia at 147, right? But y'all want Ryan to fight Tank at a catch weight of 145 with no rehydration clause, huh? Huh? Y'all the same ones. Y'all not going to, so that, that let me know y'all not going to call Ryan a weight bully because he really should be at 147. But y'all call Errol Spence a weight bully for beating up on Mikey Garcia. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You know, so... When y'all tell me y'all won't take the fight, Ryan Garcia, at 140, uh, or the catch weight of 140, uh, catch weight of 145 with no rehydration clause, y'all basically saying that y'all want to see a weight bully situation with Tank and Ryan. And like I said before, Ryan's so big he can't even make 140. He can't even make at least, at least Devin Haney. Devin Haney's big, but he at least makes the weight. He don't miss weight. Ryan Garcia misses weight, bro, because he cannot get down to that size because he is big as hell. But at weight class, he needs to be at 147. And eventually, he'll be at 54. Because he's just a, he's a big dude. He's too big for that, man. So, yeah, stop all that call. Oh, Tank need to beat him at 145 or the catch weight at 145. No rehydration clause. Man, what? That should have be looking like, bro, it will look crazy. It should have looked like goddamn Pernell Whitaker versus damn uh, Gennady Golovkin. Get the fuck out of here, man. Like, no, it's not. <laughs> hey, what is we doing, bro? Like, no, man. It's, that is too much. Take a little dude with a little frame. He can't get no 170 shit. He's a small-ass dude. I don't think y'all realize how small he is. The boy 5'5", five, five, maybe 5'4". Five, On his best day, he 145 pounds. On his best day, when he eating a whole lot of junk food. That boy can't get to know... He can't get to no 170 like Ryan can. He can't. Not at this time. Not at this time in his, in, in his lifespan and in, in his career. No. His metabolism too high for that. To even get to He can gain weight because I didn't see him pack pounds. But he ain't getting to no 170 shit like Ryan Garcia can. Machiavelli Mills TV, y'all. I'm out. Peace.